everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are decorating Salim's old apartment and we're turning it into a loft, a luxurious loft, I want to say. So I have been dealing with a little bit of arm slash hand pain lately. I think I've been editing too much. So I just uh, needed to build something a little bit smaller, basically, something that took less time, something that took less clicking on my mouse. So it was quite lucky that I really felt like decorating a loft the other day, and this is basically just the outcome of that, so I hope you will like it. We are using tool as well for this one, just to change up the windows and also fix the window placement, if you will. I added a couple of extra windows later on too, so that is what you're seeing right there. And overall, we are going for like natural tones and also modern vibes in this apartment, in this loft. So yeah, I hope you will like it. I've definitely done this style before. I know that, but it's a style that I really, really like decorating in. And I just like to revisit it sometimes. So, but I also promise, or at least I hope that I can get through. That sounded really negative. That's not what I meant. But like, I hope that, um, my arm won't hurt so much that I can't do a house this week. I don't know. It just kind of has been flaring up the last couple of days. Flaring up sounds like I've had it before, which I haven't, not really, but it's just begun to hurt a little bit over the past couple of days. So I just need to take a little bit, uh, take it a little bit easy with uh, with building the next over the next couple of days as well so yeah i'm quite lucky that it's not been because builds take a long time to do and i have been building very regularly so on a weekly basis more than three builds um for five years i think four and a half years four four years maybe let's say four or sometimes i would do two builds but it's mostly been more than that every week for four years now. So it's quite lucky that I've not had any arm issues or hand issues, but it's just, I think it's because I've been editing so much for the other channel as well that it's just kind of begun to hurt a little bit. So I just need to, I'm going to take a day off tomorrow. I'm going to build a little bit after this goes live on the channel and then tomorrow I'm taking the day off. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. It doesn't like straight up hurt hurt, but it's definitely uncomfortable. So it's just something to keep an eye on because I don't want to have permanent issues or anything like that. So which I feel like should be understandable. <laughs> so yeah, just just so you know, but I really hope that I can have another family home up this week because I feel like I still owe you guys one. So that's what I'm going to try to go for later today when I am building. And then tomorrow we are doing like, uh, just to, I just want to tell you. So, um, <laughs> but we are doing sort of an early Christmas a little bit, but without the Christmas food because the only, I don't know how to explain this, but my brother is not coming with us to Copenhagen where we're going to celebrate Christmas later this month on the 24th, because we celebrate Christmas on the 24th in Denmark. He's not coming with us, so we're doing like a, an early Christmas here in the city that I live in. Also because my mom is going to Norway for work Wednesday next week, so we don't have a lot of time. She won't be home until the 23rd, which is the day before Christmas. So we kind of have to do it either over the next, like one of the next five days, or we have to wait until after Christmas at some point. And I know personally that I'm gonna be super busy with videos between Christmas and New Year's, so I'd prefer to do it now. So we're kind of having like an early Christmas, but not full on, because we're not cooking. We are going to watch Dune as well. We're going to the cinema, even though it's literally out on HBO Max right now. We're still going to the cinema. <laughs> so we're just kind of making a thing out of it and it's gonna be fun. And yeah, my brother's gonna get his Christmas presents. Hopefully he'll appreciate them, but I am basically taking the day off tomorrow to just hang out with them and hopefully it'll be good, <laughs> so. And when I mean good, I hope that my arm will be fine after that. I think a day off now and then is also needed. So like a day off of editing and also building anything that requires too much clicking on your mouse or your keyboard. Cause that's really, if you spend like hours and hours and hours every day clicking on your mouse, you're gonna end up with issues. 
so or most likely gonna end up with this use unless you're really really lucky so it's just important to take a couple of days off now and then but yeah i hope you guys are doing great that you are having a lovely december so far we were supposed to wake up to snow yesterday but did not get it however today we got snow i actually want to tell you because um I went out for a walk with my mom, not my mom, my dad and my brother. Just earlier today, we usually go for, when I have time, I join, but they always go for a walk every week. And then when I have time, when it fits with my plans, I join them for this walk. And we got snow overnight. And uh, apparently there's a city in, was it Northern Jutland? So the Northern part of Denmark there was so much so much snow that like 10 or 20 people were stuck at an ikea overnight and they turned it into this like whole thing where they got swedish meatballs for breakfast the next day and like ice slush what's it called some whatever whatever that's called um for for dessert for breakfast as well and they were sleeping in the beds in the showroom so i just can't help but think like if I were to be stuck somewhere because of snow, the best place would be Ikea because they literally have everything. We also have this little in the Ikea that is close by to where I live. We have this little, I almost want to call it like um, a tiny house situation. They've done like a little showcase of a tiny house situation, but it's an apartment instead. And it's so it's so well made that even when you're standing on the makeshift terrace there's like there's a view and stuff i don't know it's really cute i would have wanted to sleep in that part of the store because that little area is so cute i don't know if they have that in the the ikea in northern jutland but i feel like i don't know that would have been my i'd be like that's that's fine you're not touching that that's where i'm sleeping so find <laughs> find another place to sleep this is my space but I like that they made this like whole thing out of it because some of the workers were stuck there as well with the customers. And I just, I can imagine they've had like, not necessarily an awesome time, but at least made the best out of it being in the situation that they were in. And Ikea is not a bad place to be stuck at because they just have everything. <laughs> so of course you can be unlucky and be in need of medication and stuff, but none of these were. I think they're all good as far as I've heard. They are all doing great <laughs> today. It was just basically turned into this sort of fun story, fun experience. So I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was really funny when my dad told me about it. But yeah, snow. We got snow. They got so much snow that people have been abandoning their cars and stuff. And it doesn't usually get that bad here because we don't really get storms a lot either. So it must have been really bad. We got like two or three centimeters where I live. So it's not bad at all. We just have a little bit of ice and stuff. But... Honestly, as someone who works from home, and I know that this is pretty selfish, but I'm excited for the snow because I like to look at it. And obviously I don't need to go outside in it unless I have to go shopping or go for a walk like today or whatever I'm doing. I have some errands to run uh, because of like Christmas presents and stuff. But usually when it's just a work day, I can stay at home. So I just enjoy looking through the window and seeing the snow. Everything gets a little bit brighter as well. We don't have a lot of sun hours, so it's just cozy and bright at night as well. So I love the snow, but I could imagine that it would be super annoying if you have to go drive in it every morning because it causes lines, or not lines, but like, what's it called? Traffic jams? You know what I mean. So yeah. I just like the snow. It makes everything a little bit brighter and it's December, so I want a white Christmas as well. And anyway, I've been talking about snow for the vast majority of this voiceover, I realized that, but I hope you guys liked the Ikea story anyway. Sorry if the volume is way too loud. I'm sitting very close to my mic today and I can see it in my editing program. It's a little loud, I'm so sorry. I don't know, sometimes it also resets and all my settings are just a mess all of a sudden. Sometimes the volume is way lower than it usually is. Sometimes it's way louder than it usually is. I don't know what's up with that. I can't control it. Anyway, so we are almost done, I think. I think I actually forgot with the apartment. Yes, I think I actually forgot to clutter up the kitchen. So I do that after the bathroom that I did try to put effort into this time. I just want to point that out because <laughs> 
I, I realize that I am not necessarily the most engaged person when it comes to... Is that how you say that? I am not the most enthusiastic person when it comes to uh, decorating bathrooms, but I did try to put effort into it this time so it fit with the rest of the apartment, so I hope you will like the, uh, the bathroom as well. I think my personal favorite area of this apartment is probably the bedroom area or the kitchen. Probably the bedroom area. I was trying to have some fun with the leaf curtains as well that came with a kit, the, the plant kit. I've been using a lot of those plants a lot lately i realized that but they're really gorgeous so they just fit into whatever i'm doing i'm not like purposely using it in every single build but the plants are just so pretty so i can't help myself <laughs> so they have this like open shower situation going on i like making the showers like this more than using the shower stalls actually i don't know i feel like sometimes the sh shower stalls get a little bit annoying i think it's because one side of the stalls are always like tiled. Does that make sense? Like the left side, I think it's the left side. The left side of the shower stall is always tile. So unless you purposely put it against the wall like that, um, it just kind of gets a little bit annoying. I don't know how to phrase that, but I'm frustrated with it, okay? <laughs> so I like to use the open showers like this the ones from both Discover University, but also from Snowy Escape, and then just use wall dividers or half walls or a mix of the two, and we can kind of come up with our own thing. Ignore that those pillars are made out of wood and that they're probably gonna go bad from the water. They are covered with something to protect the wood, so we're all good. You probably didn't think about that when I put it down, but it was something that I thought about while building. Like, if you put wooden columns near the shower, they're gonna go so bad and start smelling and stuff so quick but because wood doesn't really do water that well, but they're covered with something. Let's just pretend. Nothing happens in The Sims like that anyway, so we're all good. But anyway, we are at the end of the video, so I'm gonna be wrapping up this voiceover now. If you like this build, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Avalyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box down below. But be aware of the platform not really being there in the uploaded version because I just, it doesn't work like that. So you're gonna have to fix that yourself. And that is all. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really wanna know Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down But we get up and start from the ground